Tesla has started using a new AMD chip for its new Model Y vehicles in China. Tesla just began deliveries of the Model Y performance in China recently that were equipped with the new AMD chips. After few days, news emerged that all the Model Ys and 3s from Giga Shanghai now come with AMD Arisen processor. So why is Tesla using AMD's chip for its electric cars and not other chips? Let's talk about it in today's video. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Firstly, Tesla has always been extremely focused on improving computing power in its vehicles, which people often call computer on wheels these days. Previously, Tesla also worked with Intel to make chips for its electric vehicles, but it seems that now the automaker may turn to AMD, a large American semiconductor company. So what made Tesla choose AMD as a chip manufacturing partner over Intel? The first thing that was noticed is the AMD Arisen graphics that replaces an Intel chip, which is more powerful and should allow for the really smooth operation of the infotainment and internet browser. In terms of performance on the whole, AMD and Intel processors have been on a pretty even keel when it comes to overall performance. Both AMD and Intel all come down to whether users need to multitask well or want to play games at their highest settings. With AMD processors, very few of their available central processing units feature integrated graphics. Those that do are referred to as an accelerated processing unit, or APU. The ultra-low budget AMD Athlon 240GE retails around $80 and features Radeon Vega 3 integrated graphics. This makes it perfect for low to mid-grade gaming, as well as video streaming for high-quality graphics rendering at a very low price. Now that AMD has rolled out its budget gaming champions, the AMD Ryzen 3 300X and AMD Ryzen 3 3100 compared to Intel, customers have now got a few more options here. These two AMD champions bring a much better performance. Aside from that, with AMD's more powerful chips, Tesla car owners will be able to play cutting-edge video games in their cars when they're not driving. Also, they can see maps and other items in more detail. Moreover, AMD's CEO Lisa Su told Fortune in an exclusive interview before announcing the Tesla deal at the Computex Computer Show in Taiwan, the work Tesla is doing is truly pushing the leading edge of what you can put into a car. She described the effort to make in-car dash systems as powerful as high-end PCs or personal computers as part of the broader trend that computing is everywhere. The fact is that the technology we developed for personal computers is now coming over into the automotive world," Sue added. Tesla also used the AMD chip to power the new entertainment computer in the new refreshed Model S, which means the automaker needed a lot of power since it claims the same computing power as the latest generation gaming consoles. AMD has confirmed that Tesla is using its new RDNA2 GPUs in the new backseat entertainment system in the new Model S and X vehicles. When Tesla unveiled the new S and X models in January, one of the biggest new features was the addition of a screen for the back seat. The electric automaker also confirmed that the screen is powered by a new powerful gaming computer, a gaming computer with 10 teraflops of processing power. AMD unveiled its Radeon RX 6000M series with RDNA2 architecture. At Computex 2021, AMD introduced several powerful new solutions that take high-performance gaming to new levels. Designed to bring world-class performance, incredible visual fidelity, and immersive experiences to gaming laptops, the chip manufacturer also confirmed that the new technology not only powers the popular Sony PlayStation 5, but also Tesla's new gaming computer, present in the new Model S and X. One of Tesla's main requirements for computing power is not only processing power, but energy efficiency. Scott Herkelman, corporate vice president and general manager for AMD's graphics business unit said that energy efficiency is one of the new architecture's main benefits. Nevertheless, automakers have been struggling to secure chip supply and computer power for their vehicles over the last year. 
Chip shortages have led to production halts across the industry, and Tesla has been no exception. But it has fared much better than most, as it managed to still grow its production significantly over the same period. Earlier this year, Tesla's CEO confirmed that it is affecting Tesla, but he believes it's not a long-term issue. When discussing Tesla's performance this quarter, Musk said that Tesla's current biggest challenge is the supply chain issue, especially microcontroller chips. Musk also shared, our biggest challenge is a supply chain, especially microcontroller chips. Never seen anything like it, fear of running out is causing every company to overorder, like the toilet paper shortage, but at an epic scale. That said, it's obviously not a long-term issue. Finally, how can Tesla overcome such a chip shortage crisis? Analysts believe that the disruptions caused by the semiconductor crisis will last for many months, if not years to come. In the midst of this logistics and manufacturing nightmare, Tesla has been remarkably quiet, which is unexpected seeing, as its models are among the most microchip hungry. Well, you see, there's an explanation for that. As Tesla's quarter two of 2021 earnings update letter has revealed, our team has demonstrated an unparalleled ability to react quickly and mitigate disruptions to manufacturing caused by semiconductor shortages. Our electrical and firmware engineering teams remain hard at work, designing, developing, and validating 19 new variants of controllers in response to ongoing semiconductor shortages. Tesla has responded incredibly well to the global semiconductor shortage, and the reason for that is extremely flexible improvisation ability of the company's engineers. More specifically, the company has switched to new microcontrollers to avoid many of the shortages affecting the industry. According to Tesla, the company revealed in quarter one, we were able to navigate through global chip supply shortage issues, in part by pivoting extremely quickly to new microcontrollers, while simultaneously developing firmware for new chips made by new suppliers. As a result, Tesla added that it was able to further grow its production, despite the supply challenges in quarter two. The microcontrollers, along with developing firmware for microchips made by Tesla suppliers, helped the U.S. car company avoid production stop pages on many of its lines. In conclusion, although Tesla is also affected by the global semiconductor crisis, the electric vehicle maker has found effective solutions to this difficulty. Moreover, Tesla also made fans satisfied with the application of new AMD chip technology to its electric vehicle models. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.